The sun is shining down on the Brown University campus on the east side of Providence, Rhode Island for a terrific Ivy League football matchup today. It's the visiting Princeton Tigers taking on the host Brown Bears at Brown Stadium. Bears defense, second down 15, Tigers will pass again. Stenstrom fires across the middle. It is tipped and nearly intercepted. Isaiah Reed almost had the pick. Pass and run on second down and eight. They fire it underneath. It is complete to Solomon Miller, and he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bears. It's a sophomore, Solomon Miller. Does a great job, and it's the guys up front that did the blocking there on that wide receiver screen. The wide receiver's downfield. Tigers 0 for 1 on third down today. Stenstrom to pass. Steps up in the pocket. It collapses. He is sacked in the backfield. This defensive line for the Brown Bears has come to play today as number 65. Michael Reddick. Michael Reddick comes up with a huge sack right there on third down. But if you watch the pressure, it starts with Ethan Royer right there, number nine, on the blitz. They can't pick him up. Here's just three of seven on third down today. Again, Wilcox pressured. And he is going to throw it. It is complete to Mahoney for a first down. Wilcox looked like he was wrapped up in the backfield, and he was able to get it off for a first down pass and catch by Mahoney. Gutsy play here by Wilcox. Probably taught to protect it right there. He just throws it out there. He sees Mahoney, who does a nice job coming back to the football. Got five defensive backs standing right at the 35-yard line, which is the first down marker. Stenstrom, the pass gets hit as he gets rid of it, intercepted! Isaiah Reed picks it off! Captain Isaiah Reed, the junior, comes up with a huge pick for this Brown team. That was a big-time play at a big-time moment in this football game. Isaiah Reed with his first interception of the season. And we say that not too many teams have chosen to throw the ball his way because he's that dangerous of a defender. So on fourth down and seven, Austin Alley will kick it away. Barber standing at his own 10 to receive the Alley punt. This one will take a bounce inside the five yard line and it's gonna be down inside the two. Good job there on special teams by Michael Davidson, the long snapper. Gonna show three rush here. Stenstrom just dumps it off to Barber coming out of the backfield and a good one-arm tackle by Cooper DeVoe. Cooper DeVoe shows a tremendous amount of strength out there. Stenstrom motions Murphy out of the backfield and he fires it underneath. And the Bears defense read that one. JoJo Hawkins had nowhere to go. Tackle by Kyle Philbin. Here they are. So that ball just kind of sits a little over the ones, about the half yard line. It's been West Rocket, number one receiver coming into today's game. Stockton Owen with a nice run on first down, gets upended at the first down marker, but picks up 10, and the Bears move the sticks. Third down and three. Wilcox takes the snap, fakes it to Owen, dumps it off complete. And Dylan Golden, the tight end, gets a first down inside the 10 yard line of the Tigers. Direct snap to Stockton Owen, and he takes it forward and into the end zone. Touchdown, Bears! Great job by Stockton Owen. He ran the Kodiak perfect right there. He found the hole on the right side from a high snap and bring the Brown Bears with him one touchdown. Watch him just plow over that right side. Great push up front. Griffin Sturts, the right tackle you see there, takes his man a couple of yards deep into the end zone. And for Stockton Owen, his team leading sixth touchdown run of the year. Snap, rolling right is Stenstrom looking to pass, firing, and it is incomplete. And that'll stop the clock. Play clock down to two, he takes the snap. Looking to pass, firing underneath, complete to Pickenick, but the Bears defense comes up with a stop. Isaiah Gamble makes the tackle. Love that linebacker, Isaiah Gamble. What a tackle he makes right there at a key time to get this defense off the field. If the Bears cannot come up with a third down stop, they are going to have to start using those three timeouts as the clock down to 210 to play. Stenstrom with Carr standing to his left. Takes the snap, gives it to Carr. Stopped Stop. short. Dropped for a loss of a yard back at the 40-yard line. 
Great job by Terrence Lane, number eight. And James Perry calls a timeout with a minute 50 to play as it'll be fourth down and two for the Tigers. Lane comes off that right end and does a great job. He's going to bring a fourth down here. i got to believe if you're the Tigers here, fourth and three, you've got to punt the football. Yeah, I don't think you'd want to give it back to the Brown offense at the 40. I would think you'd want to try to pin him deep. You know, you look at the defense, what they had to do on that play. You had to win the push up front. Right play selections here. Snap to Wilcox on second and five. Fires middle. It is complete to Rocket. First down at the 40. 45 midfield into Tigers territory. Upended at the 46-yard line. Second down and 15. Snap to Wilcox. Back to pass. Fires down the far side. Wide open is Mahoney. He makes the catch. 10, 5, touchdown. The Brown Bears answer. Wilcox to Mahoney. Touchdown. And listen to that crowd here at Brown Stadium. What a catch. Mahoney, his second touchdown catch of the year. But what a catch it was. He has been unbelievable all game. And Wilcox finds him under pressure. Wilcox gets it. He pulls it in over, bounces it, pulls it in. Big point after oh. attempt here for Marin to tie the game at 21. The snap, the hold is down, the kick is up, and it is good. And with 53 seconds to play, we are all square at 21 apiece here at Brown Stadium. Give a lot of credit to the defense, though. They were able to get off the field. Look at this. Wilcox to Mahoney juggles it. The 6-5 from Cohasset Mass comes down with it. He really one-handed it. That left <laughs> hand went out and grabbed it and then pulled it into his body. Remaining with 19 seconds to go on first and 10 from the Brown 46. Stenstrom being blitzed, gets rid of it quickly. Good open field tackle made by Cooper DeVoe. And that forces Bob Serace to use his first time out with 14 seconds left. Stenstrom takes the snap, back to pass, steps up, fires middle, has a man, it's the tight end Picnic, but he dropped it. Tobbs comes up with a huge hit over the middle. That's broken up by number zero, Trayvon Hobbs. Big play by Trayvon Hobbs there. He just collapsed on that play and did what he needed to do, which was jar the football. And if you watch it right here, boom, he makes the hit just as he catches the ball. Great timing. Stenstrom try to make a play for the end zone here. Rolling to his left, rolling, rolling. Now he's going to fire it deep into the end zone. It is up in the air, batted down incomplete, and we are headed to overtime. Good snap. The hold is down. Kick is blocked. The Bears blocked the point after attempt, and that could be huge. Caleb Moorhead. The junior, number 52, has had a great game. He comes lipping off a warrior, comes in there with his hand, and makes an unbelievable block here. As you watch him get his arm up there, unbelievable. That could be a game-winning play, Scott. Wow. To the right of Jake Wilcox. First and goal to go from the fourth. Snap to Wilcox. He wants to pass. Looking to the back corner of the end zone. Caught! Touchdown! Walker. Graham Walker does a great job of double coverage as the Bears score. Field goal wins it here. Point after attempt for Christopher Marin can win it for the Bears in overtime. Out of the hold of Declan Boyle. Michael Davidson is the long snapper. And a timeout call to get the touchdown pass. Oh, Walker Wilcox. climbs the ladder for it. In double coverage. Great pass by Wilcox as he puts it where he needs to, up high. The snap, the hold is down. The kick is up, and the kick is good. Brown wins it in overtime, 28 to 27. A signature win for these Brown Bears to go and beat a great Princeton defense here at home. The first victory for Brown over Princeton since the 2015 season. You can feel the energy here at Brown Stadium.